Hey guys, welcome in to the Josh Reese Show. I am the face of Houston sports, and I appreciate that this is the place you come when you want to find out about a game, you want to find out about a player, you want to find out about something that's happening at Houston sports. I hope you check out this YouTube channel because chances are I'm talking about it and I've already talked about it. But we're coming to you tonight live from Minute Maid Park right after the Astros 5-1 win over the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. That is a mouthful to say. Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Why did they have to add the Anaheim on the end? Really? That's pretty stupid. But tonight the Houston Astros got the 5-1 win. Dallas Keuchel, while he was not like... He, he was great, don't get me wrong, but he was not like the Dallas Keuchel where he had a complete game shutout, or Dallas Keuchel striking out 12 batters. I mean, he still struck out 7, so he had a pretty damn good game. But this will not go down as one of Dallas Keuchel's greatest pitching performances in the history of the Dallas Keuchel book. But what it was was a very good outing and Dallas Keuchel's fourth straight quality start and it was good enough for him to help the Astros pick up their 10th win of the season, which is something they have not done. Excuse me, let me restart that sentence. Which is something the Astros did not do last year until the 10th. Let me restart that sentence again. Which is something the Astros did not do last year until May 4th. There we go. Jesus, that was hard to that was hard to get out. But on the game overall, you had two stars. You had Dallas Keuchel and you had Josh Reddick. And today they combined, or on Wednesday I should say, because who knows when you're watching this. It might not be today. It could be tomorrow. It could be any day. Whatever. Uh, they combined to help the Astros pull out the W. Josh Reddick on the game had three hits. He scored three times. He drove in two, run, uh, two runs. Dallas Keuchel pitched seven innings. He gave up one run, he struck out seven, allowed a one walk, and I think he had nine, gave up nine hits. I think it was nine hits. Uh, but overall, a very, very uh, good game by the Strohs. This was not a massive like blowout or massive shutout, but it was, it was a very good game and uh, one we've seen from Dallas Keuchel before. Uh, so, Wednesday night, the real story for Dallas Keuchel was pretty much down to two innings. In the third inning, Dallas Keuchel gave up pretty much his only blemish of the game when he allowed uh, a double and then a single drove home Danny Espinosa, and uh, I believe it was Danny Espinosa. Uh, a single drove him in. Uh, Dallas Keuchel rebounded, was able to get um, was able to get two ground outs to end the inning, and not two ground outs to end the inning to any like random jobbers or jamokes. He ground he got. Mike Trout, he got Albert Pujols to go down weekly on ground outs. Uh, great effort by Dallas Keuchel, but he would also run into a little bit more trouble in the sixth, rather, excuse me, he'd also run into a little bit more trouble in the fifth inning after allowing a lead-off double. You think, oh, Jesus, well, it was nice. Maybe, maybe Dallas Keuchel might give up another run. Maybe, you know, this might be an inning where it starts to get a little bit more dicey for Dallas Keuchel, but what did the Angels do? They bunted the ball to try to move the runner over to third. What did Dallas Keuchel do? Picked up the ball, threw the runner out at third. You cannot bunt on Dallas Keuchel. I don't know how many times he has to prove it. It's just a very bad strategy. You can bunt on four of the other Astros pitchers whenever they start. But bunting on Dallas Keuchel is bad business. Dallas Keuchel threw him out and was able to escape the inning without anything else happening. Josh Reddick, as I mentioned, uh, had three hits on the night. He fell a single short of the triple. And A.J. Hinch mentioned after the game his biggest hit of the game came in the seventh inning when he launched the ball for a home run, giving the, uh, giving the Astros a little bit of breathing room and uh, really helping them kind of seal the deal for the win. Now, a little bit of unique stuff happened in Wednesday's game. 
AJ Hinch brought in Ken Giles for the eighth inning. And he, he mentioned he's going to do it before, and Hinch ended up, uh, or excuse me, Giles rather, ended up doing his job, didn't allow a hit, got all the guys out, and then in the to end the game, he turned the ball over to um, Will Harris. Uh, Hinch after the game mentioned nine out of ten times it's going to be Giles in the ninth inning. But there are circumstances, and Hinch has made this clear over and over again, that there are times when he will bring in whoever he thinks is his best reliever for that situation to face whoever he wants to face at whatever time. Could be the sixth inning, could be the seventh inning, who knows. But if Hinch really feels that he needs that that arm and that, that, that person is really qualified to get these set of outs, that that's someone that he's going to turn to. As the lights are turning off behind me, I guess that's my cue that this should probably be about it for us. So, last bit of, uh, of news before we bounce on out of here. Uh, Carlos Correa did not play. He was available to pinch hit on Wednesday's game, but Hinch did mention after the game he is hoping that Correa will take part and play and start in Thursday's game. We'll see if that happens. The Astros will play a game. Uh, the game is going to be at 1 o'clock, so we'll see if uh, Carlos Correa makes that. If not, whew, he's got to take part, part in the game soon. But uh, that's all I'm going to say, guys. I'm going to bounce it out of here. I appreciate you guys for giving this a watch. Once again, my name is Josh Reese. You can follow me on Twitter, at Mr. Joshua. This YouTube channel hopefully is something you're going to like and subscribe to. Make sure to share and tell your friends. I would appreciate it. Guys, gals, I'm going to bounce. Thank you for the love, and uh, we will see you next time, Thursday, talking about the Astros once again.